Good afternoon, Esther. Abraham. Some call us Esterham. Esterham? <laughs> <laughs> you guys should have a little uh, comedian duel and travel the United States. <laughs> We've got it. <laughs> all right. Um, first of all, I want to say I am so appreciative of being here. I'm so appreciative of Jerry, Abraham, Esther. And most of all, I'm appreciative of myself for being here and my inner being and just the awesome guidance in this wonderful thing Good. in life. My question is, if I experienced, especially when I was younger, and I've tried it lately, but I, with not much success, because I kind of, I'm almost fear a little bit, but that's lucid dreaming and the ability to be conscious in your dream state. And I just adore that, and I, I want you to give me some more information about well, this state of this mind. This is very good. So, again, we're going to a place we've not been before. What I'm focused upon in this moment and how I feel are always a vibrational match, and what comes to me in terms of manifestation always matches. What I think and feel manifests eventually. And the more I think it and the stronger I feel it, the faster it manifests. So a dream is a manifestation too. What I'm thinking and feeling and what's manifesting in dream state is always a manifestation too. So doesn't it follow that the more in wake state that you have closed the vibrational relativity gap between what your inner being knows and who your inner being is and what you're thinking and being in any moment. Doesn't it follow that the more in alignment you are on a moment-to-moment basis as you move through your day-to-day experience, that the more it would be reflected not only in what manifests in what you call your real life, but what manifests in dream state as well. So what you're going to start noticing is that the the more you're forking off in the direction of alignment with who you are, the more you will be having your dreams from that state of alignment. Now, we have to give this to you. It's so exciting for us to be able to give this to you. What feels like a dream that you dreamed all night long, you did not dream it all night long. It was downloaded to you in split seconds during the time that you were awakening. So... You've been banging around in your life experience and you've been launching all kinds of desires that you don't believe. And you go to sleep under those conditions. And when you go to sleep, you rejoin this vibration. And then you have the interaction. Inner being gives you the information. Your dreams are playing out. And then while you're waking up, the dream is downloaded. And the dream that you remember depends upon where you go on the emotional scale when you wake up. That was so good. It's hard to hear, so we're going to say it in a lot of different ways. When you go to sleep, let's say you're worried about something. Let's say you're worried about money and you go to sleep. Well, in the moment that you lose consciousness, you reemerge with non-physical. And from that standpoint, the orchestration of your dreams is taking place. In other words, the dreams are created by your desires. But remember, the dream has to be translated in order to be a dream. And the translation process takes place as you are coming back into awakeness in your physical body. So let's say you had a dream and inner being was giving you all kinds of information about productivity, about prosperity, about well-being, about financial solvency, even flowing ideas to you about ways that it could unfold, giving you precise information about what you might do, giving you all kinds of vivid descriptions that would make you feel wonderful. Now, while you're slumbering, these are the kind of interactions you're having with your inner being. You don't recall that any more than when you were born. You recall all of the interactions that you're having in the non-physical or on the other side. But just the same, you're having those interactions. Now, when you wake up in the morning and you refined or regroup into the vibration where you last left it, it is from that vantage point in split seconds before you're even consciously aware that you're doing it that you do the dream translation. Now remember, we were talking about how the eyewitnesses both saw the same thing, but their eyewitness account were two entirely different things, and we explained that it was as they perceived it to be. So when you come back into your wake state in the morning, it is that vibration that is going to control the perception of what took place during dream state. 
Oh, this is so good. We are surprised you're not jumping up and down. We are so far out there on the leading edge. And so now let's go back to the very pointancy of this wonderful question that you're asking here. Your question is, you want to have these clear and lucid dreams. And we want to say to you, you're having clear, lucid, fantastically prophetic dreams every single night that you slumber. The question is, into what vibrational stance are you awakening? Ooh, that was so good. Into what vibrational stance are you awakening? And the vibrational stance that you're awakening into isn't about what was happening while you were asleep. That's off the charts. That's like being dead. That's as good as it gets. That's pure positive energy. The vibrational stance that you're awakening into has to do with the thoughts that you were thinking as you led up to your slumber time. In other words, what were you doing forking wise? Were you forking in the direction of what felt good all day, all week, all month, all year? Or were you forking in the other direction? That's where your vibrational stance is. Awesome. Right out there on awesome. the leading edge. That was, that's perfect. <clears throat> so now you want to have clear and lucid dreams and so that's the reason that you might be willing to fork your way up the emotional scale and get off into that corner but we want you to do it not just so that you can have clear and lucid dreams this is the way you create your life experience in other words we want you to have clear and lucid life we want it to be as bright and as healthy and as prosperous and as abundant and as much fun and as rollicking as you can endure <laughs> so a lot of times what you remember in dreams and as you were talking I was I was thinking about a dream I had where I was like felt like I was suffocating or I was like in jail or something and that's I'm choosing to see or because of my vibration and my walking state that's why that's I'm seeing way that you translated that vibration that was your yeah. eyewitness account based upon the best you could do from your current perception excellent, excellent. it is excellent, excellent. I, yes. I love that that, that's very lightning. And, and I guess that would be the other thing is um, you said one time on one of your tapes, come to our dimension where there is no time and we can chat endlessly. I suppose within that scenario and... You do I, that. You do that every night. We already night. do it. Okay. You're doing that every night. In other words, that's what's happening. When you slumber, you withdraw your attention from here and you reemerge into pure positive energy. And you remember who you are. You remember why you are. You remember what you're about. You remember how good you are. You remember all of that. In other words, you bask there. That's where your energy goes. But when you awaken, you return to where you last left your vibration. Excellent. That, that, is, so that is just great. I just, I love that. So when we go out to eat for lunch here this afternoon, that we could invite Abraham to eat with us. And our recognition of it is kind of Abraham's probably already always there anyways. Yes. Just acknowledging that. Yes. And while you're eating something that you don't like, we're eating something that we do like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that's while it. While you're eating something that's making you fat, we're eating something that's giving us wellness. In other words, perception. Perception, perception. Excellent. Is there anything to, to cap this off with that I may be even unconsciously asking from you that I'd like some information about? And one particular thing that I can think of consciously is I just love it the more connection. Um, I'm sure you've seen the movie What the Bleep when the little kid says, how far down the rabbit hole do you want to go? And I just want to be on the edge. I want to go extend it as far as I possibly can. Well, you've taken us collectively <clears throat> with your powerful... Not just the question, because it seems simple enough, but the vibrational depth behind the question. You've taken us to a place that far beyond where we have been before on the subject of inner being, on the subject of who source is, on the subject of dream, on the subject of closing the vibrational gap. In other words, you're down the rabbit hole, friend. <laughs> I guess. And the thing that we most want to say to you is, and it's exhilarating to be there, isn't it? Now, you see, once you go there, and you did, you came with us in that knowing. You can't go back. In other words, you will never be able to retreat comfortably from that knowledge because that confirming shivers, that confirming exhilaration, that confirming aha is you coming into vibrational alignment with who you really are, you see. And we just want to interject here something that there's never a crowd on the leading edge. And so you've got to get your pleasure, as you all just did, from the feeling of alignment with source. And then leave everybody else to their own 
emotional scale. Let them come or let them not come, but don't let your happiness be dependent upon them coming. A person can do as great of work moving from depression into revenge as you just did by moving from expanded thought into even more expanded thought. Okay. Any movement up the emotional scale is worth celebrating. Okay. One last comment. I don't know. Is it the lighting or is it you're glowing? <laughs> Seems. There are a lot of us here and you've summoned great enthusiasm from this peanut gallery in the sky. All right. Thank you very much, Abraham.